Hey everybody, CK here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. And y'all know how I feel about making videos. Like if y'all follow me on Snapchat, y'all know that I told y'all like this makes me happy. I'm super excited because like I'm always super excited about videos, okay? But this one right here, and let me, ooh, I feel like I'm on 100 already. Like calm down, bring it down, pipe down. So this video is about my empties, you guys. Look at this bag, it is full to capacity full or filled it is filled to capacity that's what i'm looking for and i love these type of videos because it lets you know the stuff that i have completely used and it lets you know if i'm interested in repurchasing it or if it's like deuces i will say that i don't remember everything that's in here because it's been so long so if it is a duplicate or i recall that it's a duplicate we're gonna zoom on past it and i will link the other empty videos below okay will that work like will that suffice like is that good okay like we're here okay let's go this item right here this is perry and spirit and this is a professional makeup brush cleaner and i definitely know that i talked about this before i still love it but i've been on this cinema secret kick lately so i I am not going to repurchase this at this time but i definitely wanted to tell y'all about it now i'm sorry if i seem sidetracked but i was sitting here thinking can i make if i throw that in the trash and i toss it like i'm jordan can i make it let's see hey i made it so this next product or these next products right here is dickinson's original witch hazel pore perfecting toner and the reason like i know that i've talked about this like almost in every empties video but the reason that i'm bringing it up is again is again what the reason i'm bringing it up again is because i get a lot of questions about my skincare regimen and i just want y'all to know that this is forever and probably will always be a part of my regimen i use this every single time i wash my face okay so yeah i get it at walgreens i don't know where else you can purchase it so if you guys know of any other places let your girl know the next item here, I think I have talked about this before, but this is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Shampoo with Shea Butter and Apple Cider Vinegar. <sighs> That's a long name. I have talked about this before too, but I wanted to let you guys know that I'm still using it. I have a new one in the cabinet and this is all I use to wash my hair. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about these either because these are a part of my skincare regimen as well. And when I tell y'all I have been using this stuff since 2011, I am not even kidding. This is the Aveeno Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser with Salicylic Acid and Blemish Treatment. It helps prevent breakouts for clear, even looking skin with soy extracts. Bay, Mwah. love this stuff. The next item, which is, I think I have a couple of them in my cabinet, y'all, because I'm telling y'all, when I say that my skincare regimen, like we got a love thing going on, we got a love thing going on. But this right here is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer with sunscreen. It has SPF of 15. And this, I love this stuff. I don't have to use it as much because I just use it in the morning. And toss that. At nighttime, this is all I use, you guys. It's an oil. It's emu oil. And I've talked about this since 2011 as well. Like if you go all the way back in my videos, you'll see. But I'm, I caution you, I caution you. I don't know what they look like, okay? But this right here is Longview Farms Pure Refined Emu Oil. And this is a two ounce bottle. And I have another one in my cabinet because it's bae. Now, peroxide. I know you guys are like, what the birthday? Like I do use peroxide and I'm gonna tell you why. This is 3% hydrogen peroxide, but I don't really focus on the percentage, honestly. I just pick up whatever they have at Target, Target, Target. But anyway, so this, you guys, I use on my teeth, but hold up, hold up, because I know you guys just saw a video, a teeth whitening video that I did with Mini Me number two. I use that like, let's just say, this is kind of like an oil change for my teeth. And then the maintenance that I showed you guys in the other video is like a tune up, okay? So whenever I feel like they are getting, you know, a little dingy and whatnot, I will use this peroxide and I'll just swish it around my mouth. But, and I did talk to my dentist about it, so it's all good, it is totally okay. But I do this before I take that step to use my teeth whitening trays, okay? Kind of like in between. And yes, I have more because I always keep it on deck. Plus, it is always good to have peroxide in your medicine cabinet, you guys. Like if you have a scrape, if you have a cut, peroxide is a great thing to have. Like you guys, seriously, Google it and look at all the benefits or all the things that you can use peroxide for and you will be like shocked because you can even clean stuff with this. I have not done that, but it says that you can. T Another skincare item, you guys, because like it's real over here. I'm so serious. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about this either because I have talked about this so many times, you know, but for my new folks and whatnot, 
This is the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. It says it's the world's most powerful facial deep pore cleansing item, I guess I added on item, but this is like, oh my gosh, I already have another one of these. We have a love thing going on just like the rest of my skincare regimen. And this big old tub of product is about, I think it's less than $10, if not, not much more. Okay. And I get it from Whole Foods, Vitamin Shop, wherever you find Amazon. All right. And I use this once a week. You guys, you see me on Snapchat. Whenever you see that mask on Snapchat, know that this is what it is. But these right here, as you could tell, these right here, man, y'all. Now y'all know when I used to do my lip swatch videos, I used to use the Mac wipes because they are so moisturizing and they don't feel like, they just don't feel like they strip your lips. Now I don't use wipes on my face. I only use grapeseed oil to remove my makeup. So that is not what I'm about to tell you about these. These are solely for when I do hand swatches and when I do lip swatches, but I still want them to be moisturizing when I'm removing the lipstick from my lips. I don't want them to be all super dry, especially if I'm trying on like 10 or 15 lipsticks. You feel me? So these things are so awesome and they're like $3 a pop. The next item that I'm going to talk about right here is contact solution. And this is the BioTrue multi-purpose solution and it works like your eyes, it says. It conditions, cleans, removes protein, disinfects, rinses, stores for soft contact lenses, including silicone hydrogel lenses. Like I totally don't work for Bosch and Lom, but you would think I do, but I like this a lot. Oh, see, look, there's another one. So that goes to show you that it's a love thing. Now this right here is the Cinema Secret brush cleanser that I was telling you guys about. And this one is eight ounces and I did, I'm looking at it now, but I did buy a 32 ounce from the makeup show LA and I vlogged about that. So if you check out that vlog, you will totally see where I got the real big one. And I love it because it cleans it without leaving like um, a little bit of oil residue like the Perry and Spirit does. They're both great, but I like them for different things. Now the next item I have is by Elastic QP and it is their olive oil and mango butter moisturizer. This is the original formula and it says intense treatment. I love this stuff for my hair, you guys. Of course it's a hair product and it's totally gone. Like, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I left a corner in there. I need to scrape that out. I'm just saying it's some good stuff, but I get this from Walgreens online or when I go into Walgreens, but they hardly ever have it. But I go to my local beauty supply as well. So there's a few places I can get this from, but I like to use this as a moisturizer. Like when I'm refreshing my bun, only when I have my bun though. So when I refresh my bun, I spritz water on it to moisturize it. And then I put this on there to kind of coat the hair. And then that's when I put my gel on. But I think I have a video on that or shall I say every hair video that I have on my channel, you'll probably see this. Now the next hair product that I've absolutely been loving is this Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. And this is the bomb. Let me see, make sure I didn't leave none. Okay, I cleaned that baby out. Now I believe this was in my last favorite video, you guys, and I've been raving about it on Snapchat because I told y'all that I had stopped deep conditioning because I couldn't find one I really liked and I noticed the difference in my hair and I was like, uh-uh, I need a deep conditioner. So I tried this and and again on Snapchat, I asked you guys, is this good to try? And I got some feedback saying yes. So I tried it, fell in love. Matter of fact, I think this is like my second container. Man, y'all, like this, like we go way back. We go back like four flats on a Cadillac. No, I'm just kidding. But this is the Aqua Beauty Balm, and this is by Kiss. It is multifunction and it evens out your skin tone. It covers and conceals, it brightens and nourishes. And I have the color medium, you guys, and it's not all the way gone, but I've had this for over two years and I still love this stuff. This is like the best BB cream ever. It's like a matte consistency. Um, it lasts all day. I think like, man, I'm just reminiscing right now. Just talking about it. Like seriously, the only reason that I didn't use it all up is because I started reviewing all these other foundations and falling in love with a lot of other foundations. So I feel kind of guilty now. Like I need to, I think I have a backup though. I think I have one, so I may need to bust that out again, especially doing a drugstore video or something. I got it at the beauty supply. It's $7.99, but now it's time to depart. I almost want to sing, me and you must never part my key, da da. <laughs> now this is another item that has been really, really good to me, but it's time to let it go because it's 12 months. You're supposed to toss it after 12 months. And I've had it long over 12 months. I was going through my little drawer on Snapchat with y'all and I was like, ooh, 
it's time to let that go too. This is the Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer and it's for oil control y'all. And it has a pump, so I love that. And then it kind of like, when you put it on, it kind of mattifies your skin. So I really love this, like, ugh, tear. So here are some more items that I use on my teeth. Now this does not make my teeth whitening system null and void, all right? This is just something that I use every single day. And I've been using this for like two years and I love this stuff. It is Luster Premium White power white deep stain eraser fluoride toothpaste it says it removes up to 95 percent of surface stains in five days so the number one reason why i go on my walgreen runs is for witch hazel and it's for this toothpaste because i can't seem to find it anywhere else so the next items i'm going to talk about is about my teeth as well and it's good because i do want to show you guys this this is from the teeth whitening system that i talked about in the video with mini me number two and it just goes to show you that i have used all three of these trades so i really do believe in this product this is by smile brilliant but i'll link that video and you know give you all the links on what i use and all that good stuff but this stuff is amazing and i've used it and i have one more left so i really do need to stock up and these are all primers i have the milani eyeshadow primer i have the put a lid on it primer by the bomb for your eyes and then i also have the Too faced shadow insurance eye primer now this one i have been using every single day but i noticed on here as well it says that it expires in 12 months and this one expires in 12 months and all of them expire in 12 months and i've had them all way longer than 12 months i'm talking maybe like 24 months so they're all good love them all this happens to be my fave though like maybe because i've been using it so much and i forgot what these work like but they are all great you guys and I'm just getting rid of them because they have expired but I do have another one of the Too Faced shadow insurance that I use every day in all my videos the next items I have are the NYX contour palettes are they called no they're called the conceal correct and contour palettes now I've had these well over two years as well and I have definitely used pretty much all the colors that I would use from this palette I pretty much used it all up and well almost but this one right here definitely like scraped every ounce on this side i'm sorry i've definitely scraped every ounce that i could out of this and like i said i've had them for a couple of years so i mean i really do like the product i have a review on it from like two years ago and i've had them for like two years so it's like time to go but what has replaced this is my elf foundation palette so i will probably not purchase these again and this right here it is trader joe's jojoba oil it is a gentle oil useful for removing makeup cleansing clogged pores softening skin and moisturizing this stuff is great and what they say after like you know research i've done this is like the most natural oil you can use on your scalp because it's similar to the oil or the sebum that our scalp produces on its own so i was using that for my hair then i was using it on my scalp but i just been using grapeseed oil and i've been using my agave oil so i don't really have a need to purchase this again oh my gosh this is is a tinted moisturizer by the bomb and it is not empty but i'm talking about stuff that's empty and stuff that i'm actually discarding because it's expired okay so this is tinted moisturizer it has an spf of 18 and it is by the bomb and it's a tinted moisturizer and i really love this stuff along with max tinted moisturizer i've had this for over two years as well so it's time to let it go the next item that i have is the lorac Perfection foundation oil-free, paraben-free, fragrance-free with the SPF of 20, okay? And I'm in the color PR10, and the reason that I'm discarding this is because I've had it for over two years as well, I think. I actually did, I think I did a first impression or a get ready with me video on it. I really do like this product, but the one thing that made me choose other foundations over this one is it's not like a mattifying foundation and y'all know that i love matte foundations so y'all know that luminosity and that dewy look like we're just acquaintances like we're not friends so this gives you like a semi dewy kind of look and so i really have to use a primer a setting spray a matte powder da -da 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 -da. and so that is why i didn't reach for it a whole lot but it's not a bad foundation especially if you're looking for hydration and so this item right here is the makeup forever step one skin equalizer primer this is the mattifying one they have a whole step one system and i think it consists of like five or six primers but this is like my favorite out of the whole line this is just like a deluxe sample but i do have a full size and i am using it now because it's like one of my favorite primers at this time and you guys i don't even know i have other products in my hand but i don't even know if y'all can see it but oh my gosh 
lash. Like I scraped every ounce of concealer out of this bad boy. This is the Sephora concealer. It's Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. This is in the color Dose de Leche. I use this on top of my lid. The only reason I don't use it under my eye as a highlight is because it's really, really close to my skin color. And then the next color up, which is caramel, 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 tomato, tomato. But the next color up is a little too light. It doesn't have enough yellow in it. So in order for me to use it under my eye, unless I'm not trying to do a highlight, like I have to mix those two. And y'all know how I feel about mixing stuff. Like every time I do my makeup, right? But this stuff is awesome because it brightens. It really does. It's just, I don't know. Don't use it on your eyebrows though. Cause I made a mistake. I did that and I did a video. Y'all probably didn't know, but I did. It was all glistening like right above my brow. Cause it was like brightening it. Do not use it on your brows. I repeat, I repeat. Do, not do not use not it on your brows. brows. So this item is the Super Stay Better Skin Concealer by Maybelline. And I think it has salicylic acid in it as well. I'm not really sure. It's something in it that helps your skin, okay, you guys? So this is the color Deep. And unfortunately, this is the deepest color that they have. I always tell y'all that. So I had two backups, but I gave one away to my friend. But I did open up my other one, you guys. And this is the concealer that you see in pretty much almost every video. And these are the the final items right here. This is the MAC Pro Long Wear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. This one is an NC50 and this one is an NC45. I do have to mix these two to come up with my solid color, okay? And it's not all gone, you guys. I have put it into this container right here. But since I learned about this little trick, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try the Studio Fix Foundation because I've never used that in life. So I'm gonna get it and then put it in here. But this is where I put these, you guys. Now I will buy these again, but I will have you know that when you use these on your beauty blender, like if you're using it on a pink one, it is gonna stain that baby. You're gonna need something real, real powerful to get that out because it definitely stains. I don't know what it is about it that does that, but just FYI, and I do have a review on these foundations where I go into all that and I tell you about it, all right? I also have a video on how I um, mix my foundations, how I custom mix them, and where I got this bottle from and all that good stuff. So that is it for this video, you guys. If you want me to continue doing empties videos, please let me know, you guys, because I want to make sure that you guys are still interested in seeing videos like this. So I feel like these type of videos are very, very, like, you know, vital to helping you guys make a decision on certain products. I feel like these videos are just as important as review videos, okay? So let me know so I can continue to store up my trash, okay? <laughs> you guys have an awesome, blessed day, and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye.